of Thursday, August 15th, regular scheduled select, uh, Berlin Select Board to order. To my far left is Justin Lawrence. To my left is Flo Smith. I'm Brad Town. Uh, with us also is Dana Hadley, Town Administrator, and Diane Isabel, Town Treasurer. And additions or changes to the agenda, Dana? Yes, I have several um, changes to the agenda. Again, it was because the agenda was early since I was out last week. Um, the first item, um, I'd like to remove Phil Gentili's appointment. It's been rescheduled to September 5th from the Conservation Commission. In place of Phil Gentili's appointment time, I'd like to add the Berlin Corner Cemetery Association discussion, discussion on cemetery roads. Um, I would like to add a working on the right-of-way application for Edgewood development. I would like to add USDA funding for Payne Turnpike North Sewer Extension and to be discussed when you meet with the Public Works Board. Uh, I would like to add easement deed from Central Vermont Chamber of Commerce and this is also due to the sewer extension project for Payne Turnpike North and that will be discussed while the Public Works Board is here. Um, I would like to add the paperwork for delegating a voting delegate for the annual meeting of the Vermont League of Cities and Towns. And I would like to add a letter that the town has received from Dave and Beth Doubt. I would like to add a letter received from Peter Hogg. And I would like to add a short discussion about goals for the upcoming year. Okay, I'm sorry there's so many. Okay. Um, anything else on that? Thank you, no, I think that's sufficient. Okay, uh, any public comment? Hearing none, we'll move to the treasurer's report, Diane. Okay, I had a grant audit from the state of Vermont last week. Everything went well, I'm expecting a report in the next few weeks, but there was, she did not say there was any issues whatsoever. So once I have that report, I'll bring it to the select board meeting. Um, the preliminary audit is next Wednesday, August 21st. I need one of you to be available via the phone so that the auditor can talk with you. So if it could be, if you could decide which one of you, if I can get your number for her to call tonight, if that's possible. What day was it? It's um, Wednesday the 21st. Mm -hmm. Usually it's the chairman. Are you available? Okay. Wednesday the 21st. Yeah. Okay, so then, we'll, okay. And then maybe you can have a backup, maybe lower adjustment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. be a backup. Okay, good. Yeah. I'll give you my numbers tonight. Okay, perfect. Thanks. Or if you can just email it to me or something. Sounds great. Perfect too. Okay, great. Um, and then um, I had a tax sale last August on Cecil Avenue. It was two acres on Cecil Avenue, and it was purchased, and there was it was not redeemed. So um, a warranty deed is going out, and there was money that I held in escrow because we were paid more than was owed in taxes. And so I will be cleaning up that escrow account and sending the money to a company called Mincer Brothers. So that should be happening in the next week, and that will take care of it as far as our tax sale properties. That's all I've got. Thank you, Diane. Okay, thank you. I'd like to, before Diane leaves, I'd just like to mention, um, last week she had this audit for the many of the grants that we have. And it's gotten, um, grants are always great to get, but there is a lot of paperwork that Diane has to do and a lot of documentation that she has to keep track of. And it's quite cumbersome. And I just wanted to thank you for doing such a great job because it really is, you do an excellent job. The work I'm you not do saying, is very admirable. You know, Thank you. And I'm not, but you know, having a strong financial person is so important Thanks. for a community. So thank you, Diane. I really mean appreciate to embarrass it. you. Yeah. Um, the approval of licenses, permits, and vouchers. I make a motion that we approve the general fund accounts payable warrant number 20G03 with checks 19461 to 19505 in the amount of $77,702.20. Payroll warrant number 20-03 for payroll from July 21st, 2019 to August 3rd, 2019 in the amount of $42,064.62. Reconcile July 
bank statements for the General Fund, Sewer Commission, and Water Division, and also the Jur July General Journal entry. I'll second the motion. Any further discussion? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Um, they are. I, I think they're planning to come in at 7:15 because I have them on. Um, maybe we could move to the voting delegate for the Vermont League. Sure. The cities and towns. Every year, as you know, um, the League of Cities and Towns. As soon as I find it. Um, ha wishes each town to uh, appoint a delegate to vote at their annual business meeting. And basically, a lot of it has to do with um, suggestions that they're going to make to the legislature as far as um, either adjusting laws, adding laws, deleting laws, um, mostly adjusting. Um, so they need to have someone from each community delegated to be able to vote on behalf of their town. And it usually is a select board member. What day is this? Uh, it's on Wednesday, October 2nd. Starting at 1 p.m., it's in Killington at the Killington Grand Resort. They do it as part of their town fair. They have the annual town yep. fair um, conference. You don't, um, it's not, you don't have to sign up for the town fair to go to the voting, but they do kind of overlap. Who mm -hmm. typically goes to that? Is it just any board member? A board member, someone, you know, a town administrator or, you know, any department head. Towns, many towns send different people for the education. There are education seminars and things like that. I will not be going this year because I will be out of town. Right. That's when you're going on your trip. Yeah. yeah. I could do that date. I don't know if it's something we want to do or not. Mm -hmm. Planning of noon till works for you. Mm -hmm. So I would need a motion to that effect. I make a motion um, for Justin to participate and that would be on Wednesday, October 2nd at the Burlington Grand Resort on behalf of the board. Do I hear a second? Oh, second the motion. <laughs> Any further discussion? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Brad, if I could get you to sign as the, under the chairperson, I'll fill in the top and submit it to them. <coughs> Do you know if Jeff were, were coming to as I well? Call, I had to call into him, but uh, I thought he was. Okay. But he didn't return my call, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. Should we wait for him, or would you like to go next? Uh, I didn't know where I was going. I thought you were just discussing. Well, I, I put you in as an appointment. Okay. Um, and. Brad, the Berlin Corner Cemetery Association asked me about the possibility of the town helping them with the maintenance of some of their cemetery roads. And Roy is representing the Cemetery Association. We haven't been able to because the cemetery is not a town entity. entity. Um, we're closely related. Um, and so they asked me to ask you, and so here we are. These last rains, I will point out, washed out two of our roads to the gravel, and we've had to close them off. Where is, where is this? Everybody? At the Berlin Corner Cemetery. They have the one cemetery in Scott Hill Road. Came the last place, right? Yeah. I'm the last one on the list, so. <laughs> Are we able to, can we go maintain the road that's not a good road? We're not supposed to. 
Can they donate materials? Well, I'm just trying to think how you get some equipment up here. You got the tractor right here. If that, I don't think that's probably big. I haven't seen what's going on. How 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 deep is the uh, the rut and the washout? Um, probably a foot deep. Where did in the lower go? Where did it go? Yeah. Washed down into the lower area and then to the. Um, did it get be salvaged and brought back up? No. I mean, it, wa it wasn't really that bad. The only part that is gravel is where the wheels go. The center is grass. Um, but and what you need is some more material and somebody to level it for you. Yeah. But How much material would you estimate it's going to take? I'm not an engineer, so I really don't know, but I would think a couple of dump trucks. A foot, a foot deep and how long? <coughs> Like I said, I wasn't really prepared to, you know, I would say <laughs> 75 feet. I mean, it wasn't that, it isn't that deep uh, all, the way all the way down, but the problem is that the center of the road and the sides of the road are higher than the middle of the wheel drive. Yes, mm -hmm. and it's always going to happen. and. Those two roads, I was planning on asking the board of the cemetery to just close those off. And when we get a chance, we'll fill them in and put dirt there and grass it over. Um, the first road that goes into the cemetery, all the monuments to the right, are, there's four sections to that. Each of the other roads that go down through are down through two sections. So if we close off a couple of them, it's just going to make more four section areas. And I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Um, I was going to say, Justin, if you can get a tractor over there and get some gravel. I can get my tractor over there and just volunteer my time and labor. I have a tractor right here in the corner. So that's what we need. And that's nice. And um, oddly enough, I do have a permit to dig in the brook this year so <laughs> uh, we can I can, I can all the material that what we a coincidence get to because <laughs> the left hand side of the road going into the cemetery um, <coughs> the area that we want to um, develop into uh, you know future grave sites along with the back section uh, the cemetery had never been fully uh, surveyed so we had to do that we don't have a plat of what's there now in the town's office, which is illegal, and we're trying to get that. Um, in doing so, uh, there's supposed to be 37 rows of monuments, and in a Google Earth view, I counted 38. So there are, seven, there are a lot of different problems with the cemetery that we need addressed too, and that was, I think, why Jeff and uh, Matt had come last time. But right at the moment, it's just the driveway. Well, we'll have to meet sometime to <coughs> we'll look at it. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't sound like it's too much, really. No. And I, I don't know. think it's a real big deal, it's just that we... I can get a box plate from my tractor, too. I already got one. I got one. Yeah. It'll rock rate. I mean, we can pay for the material. It's just a truck. I, I, I think according to state law, I can't sell it. So, we'll just donate it. We appreciate well, that. Yeah, Very we'll, nice. We'll have to take and go and look at it mm -hmm. and get an idea. Mm -hmm. so, I'll give you a call sometime. Yeah. I'll this weekend, you. maybe. I'll be available if you want me to meet up there at any point, you could call me. Sure. Okay. Well, great. Anything else we can do for you? There's a lot. Kevin, don't get any questions. That might be a dangerous way to do that. No, that would be nice for right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You could get all the voters to vote for some money for the cemetery next year, mm -hmm. like the library gets. 
we you are. might consider um, Roy getting a petition before next town meeting because yeah. that's how that's how it's done. Yeah, we'll and Rosemary can help you with what you need to do to pull it together. But that would be a way to get it on the warrant. And that's a good idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's we need thirty thousand dollars a year more to be able to do what we need to do. And that's one proactive way getting the petition signed and getting it yeah. done for the voters. Great. We were two weeks late this year. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. Yeah, it's very specific, but she'll tell you what yeah. you know, when you need just it. advertising yeah. if and you how many people she, you, you, you would need and um, if you were to send out something and right. we had made up a brochure about something mm -hmm. that went out. Mm -hmm. you would, Well, we really appreciate great. anything you can do. Well, thank you for bringing to our attention. Absolutely. Sure. Yep. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good evening. Thank you, Roy. You too. Um, what's the working in the right way, Dana? Um, and I think someone might be in on that. That is Edgewood Construction on Airport Road. Can look at it? Um, <clears throat> Tim has. I need to ask Tom that question. When he comes in, I will. Um, I think he has, but I don't know if I can answer that completely. They want to work to be performed a new curb cut. Oh, I believe this is on the state part of the. Um, no, it can't be. Why don't we let Tom explain it to you? Um, Where, whereabouts is it? It's at 2178 Airport Road. It's Tom Lozon's building um, up past the veterinarian and Airport Road. It was across from the airport itself? Yeah. Yeah. It's so, along where the state employees are, Department of Transportation. I think so. Yeah. It's near the deal, it's near the deal yeah, building? Okay. Yeah. That's got to be pretty close to the town. Uh, it's right, it's, it's kind of on that line. And so, think, I don't yeah. know how far beyond the turn into the airport the state takes it, but it's not far. I think, it's it's, not far. I think it ends right at the airport, turn. the first airport driveway if you're going from this side, from yeah. 62. I believe you're correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's, that would put Luzon's building on the town portion of the road. Yes, which is, I guess, why he's asking you. Um, it's for the purpose of a new restricted truck entrance. Work to be performed includes a new curb cut, expanded drive, and parking to increase parking and improve circulation. How wide is the turn? They'll be in to talk to you, I think, too. It doesn't question, say. Do they need a culvert? They just said pay for yeah, don't You'd yeah. almost think so. Now you're in your results. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you just, uh, just somebody that really Plus an additional curb cut, not a replacement, or reworking something inside of there. I think what they want is just a truck in kids. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. what it sounds like to me. Mm -hmm. okay. They just worded it. They have a bit this. Their engineer has done a sketch. Um, this has not been approved yet by the DRB, so I would suggest if you do decide to grant this, it would be conditional upon the DRB's decision. What do they need to just that work? Um, Asking for a curb cut of 95 feet. Very significant, yeah. No, it's, for, it's got to be for trucks. Yeah, they did say, and that's for truck uh, entrance. And do you need a decision tonight? Do we need to act on this tonight? Um, I think someone from representing this will be in sometime around 7.30 to talk to you further about it. 
We like to have the applicant come in because they know more details. This is a surveyed parcel and description based on the four rod right of way. And I do note here it says the right of way for Airport Road is assumed to be three rods, 49.5 feet. Is there a way we can confirm that, or will they confirm that for us? Um, I believe that they are correct that it is three rod road. Um, and it's probably one, as in many cases with our roads, they came by prescription rather than anything else. So it's still going to have any length in between. Do we know how far it is in between? Are there curb cuts there? Are there? Uh, it should show right there. Um, you know, like what's up here? What's bad? I don't know. Right? Well, this is. I mean, it's all that's going to be a zoning thing. That's going to be the developmental review board, anyhow. Or we're just there is a, there is a case before the development review board. I mean, all this really is is just us, right? Whether they can work in the right of way contingent upon exactly. the DRB approval. Exactly. Fairly, yeah. fairly simple. And I think this gentleman knows a lot more than I do. You Talk came at a good right? time. Come on Perfect. up, please. Perfect time. Here, give me a second. I'll set up that moment. This, I can set up a tripod real quick. Great. Uh, yeah, that worked out for me, didn't it? <laughs> well, we're, start, we're going to start asking you the tough questions, Dan. So. Um, we are working. I've, I've changed this a lot, so I'll give you this. Right now, we're working. On right away, and this is when they jump over this. No, and then what's beyond it? Is before the uh, set, uh, once you get beyond it, you they, will, they, they will be here, they're a little late, but they're in the other room. Okay, I mean, I think it's pretty is that a decent spot or would you like it somewhere else? Um, I think that's fine. We could even bring it closer if you closer? like. Okay. You think we'd have a better uh, stand for how many of these we do? <laughs> and better one we can do I hope not. Maybe Bruce will buy you one. <laughs> That's pretty good. <cool. laughs> Thank you for being here tonight. So you're from of course. DeWolf. I am. I'm from DeWolf. My name is Richard Colburn. Just, they've been discussing it a little bit, so if yep. you would explain what your project is. Yeah, uh, currently we have a project, uh, an application in with the DRB, uh, the VTrans and Tom Lowe's on the property owner. They want to do a project expanding the parking over there to better meet the needs for V-Trans and improve some uh, truck circulation on site. So they're proposing a new curb cut, trucks entering only, uh, 250 approximately feet south of the current entrance so that trucks can enter here and have an easier circulation around the site and then leaving the site. Are they going to be leaving the site at the, curb, the new curb cut or out the original? Uh, out the original. The new curb cut is trucks in only. There will be no cars leaving that curb cut. Um, currently, when they come on site here in the northern access, I'll call it now, they'll come in and they either have to stop and jimmy around and back around, and this would just improve their, their circulation. How many trucks a day? Uh, it's like three to four a week. So it's maybe one, Tractor maybe two. Or yeah. Box trucks. Tractor trailers. Is, is there loading docks in that building? It's not loading docks, but they have two 12 foot wide and 20 foot tall doors, I think, on either side of this building. And uh, they intend to bring trucks in and either the smaller ones that they get can drive through and the bigger ones can pull in here and then back into the building. So you don't expect this to take an increased truck traffic on the airport rotor at all? It won't increase, increase traffic. It shouldn't have any effects on, 
on traffic safety because it's only trucks and no one's coming out of that entrance. Yeah. Um, now yeah. You said you have to go through the DRB still? We do. We have a, our meeting is next Thursday. Whenever it is Wednesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. Yep. The 20th. Yep. So that's just on the town road, right? It's just beyond the state. It is. I, state. I think this this switch and pavement right there that you can see in that picture is the is the change that's, in yeah, the state to town on. road. Here we go. Do you have any more questions about it? Any any Maybe. concerns with it? Not just not going to increase traffic or anything else. Well, uh, like I said, I, because of uh, I mean the the distance between the two, um, as you, I think I mentioned in that application, is just under B some the the separation distance based on VTRANS rules. But because it's entrance only, we don't expect it to have any impact on uh, on safety. Make a motion. Make a motion to uh, approve the right of. Uh, work in the right away permit for Edgewood development contingent upon the uh, DRB approval. I second the motion. Any other discussion? Those in favor? Aye. Uh, motion carries. Sign that. Tom will have that for you tomorrow, Richard. Perfect. Okay. Thank, Thank you very kindly much. for being here. That was helpful to us. Of course. Thank you. Uh, it's. <laughs> We did update the plan. Oh, sorry, I should have mentioned this before. Nothing, nothing changed. I just added a little more annotation so you can see that we're going to have signs showing that um, exit only. Um, mm -hmm. okay. But I, I wanted to, if you want to keep that for your record, I will. Yes. Um, there's Great. not a whole lot changing. We got through that a lot faster than I expected, so <laughs> I had a whole lot of material just in case. <laughs> Always good to be prepared. That's right. Well, thank you very much. Have a great night. Have a wonderful evening. Tough Tom, but they got through it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In my defense, the email did say 730, not 728. Right. Well, we, we expedited it tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Good night, Tom. Okay, Dana. Public Works, joint meeting. Um, yes, members of the Public Works Board are here, and they would like to discuss, I think you would like to hear about their sewer project, the extension on Payne Turnpike North. Um, we have a que two questions that have come up. One is the USDA funding, and I'll let Tom or the, or the Public Works Board discuss that with you. And we also need some signatures on uh, an agreement for the easement deed for the Vermont Chamber of Commerce. So maybe you'd like to all come closer. And I think this is an opportunity. We had talked last time about having the public work board come in because oftentimes um, it's Tom and me that you're getting our information from. And, Sometimes I think it's better to have it from the committee itself. Excellent. So I think I'm going to talk. <laughs> so uh, so uh, the Public Work Board has, has three major projects going on right now. Now many of you uh, uh, you've heard a lot about. The first is uh, uh, one that's very active, uh, uh, been for about 18 months, Payne Turnpike North, which will bring uh, gravity sewer service from Route 62 to Fisher Road. Um, uh, if you, that is, when you look at the, the new zoning regulations and the town plan, that's really the last piece of uh, sewage needed for this new town center concept. This will, uh, in, in effect, circle, circle the, that, uh, the new town center with, with sewer. Water, uh, uh, municipal water was put in there in 2016. Um, as Dana mentioned, 
We just re heard word this morning that um, uh, USDA has made an offer of 2.75% uh, interest on a 30-year note uh, for this project. The, the town uh, voted and approved a, a bond initiative on this project in, in August of 2018 to $2.2 .2 million. Uh, we're going to try our best to come underneath that $2.2 .2 million. Uh, so uh, we just received a very important easement from the Chamber of Commerce uh, on the corner of uh, Fisher and Stewart Road there. So when you see the Chamber of Commerce, you know, please express the, the gratitude towards them. Um, they, they have asked for, um, in, in granting that uh, uh, easement, they asked to, are there any out-of-pocket expenses that the town reimburses them? Uh, and they've asking that that would not exceed $2,000. I think it's going to be significantly less than that. Um, I know uh, Chuck Starro uh, has done their legal work on the easement uh, at Gratis, and so I, I think it's going to be significantly less than, than the, than the $2,000. So uh, they, they signed the easement in good faith, uh, and, I, and uh, uh, Dana has the, the uh, out-of-pocket expense agreement there for you, your folks' consideration tonight. So normally, you would have had this first, correct? But due to the way life is, yep. it didn't work. And, that way. and they 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 did this in good faith. They, yeah. Right. Absolutely. Right. Uh, so that's uh, Payne Turnpike North. I think it's adds significant value uh, to the town. Um, there are are several projects that are in in the planning stages uh, that have been. Rumored about uh, in in this corridor, nothing has come to the zoning office yet. But I, I expect you know, soon that there there's going to be some some activity there. Um, the uh, other sewer project that we have in, is the it's a cooperative effort between the uh, the, 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 the town of Berlin's public work department and. Uh, Eight to nine neighbors on Crosstown Road. Uh, the, <clears throat> the the town put in a grant application to the Northern Borders Regional Planning uh, Commission, and we've asked for approximately one hundred and thirty thousand dollars of a two hundred and sixty thousand dollar project to bring Gravity Sewer uh, across town to Crosstown Road. Um, how uh, the balance of that money is going to come from? Is that 25% of that money is going to be paid by the folks who connect to the system? 25% of the monies will come from the uh, uh, capital reserves in the, in the, in the uh, sewer division. Um, so we are supposed to hear, I thought we'd hear by now, uh, any day if, if that project's been awarded. Um, so one of the, one of the fo folks who um, who reviews that is, is, is the governor. He just happens to be a Berlin resident, so if he's having coffee with him someday, ask him about the project. Um, uh, the third item that we've been really been working on, and very successfully, is so that we put uh, two, in 2016, uh, new municipal water system was, uh, and Ber Berlin's first municipal water system was put in, uh, and we've sold out of our, our capacity on that system. Um, we're not, uh, and I, I say that from a from an allocation standpoint, not from a use standpoint. We're probably about 50 percent of the of the actual uses out there, but but uh, we have granted uh, permits to folks to to build uh, some, of, and there's been some speculative buying by developers to uh, purchase water from from this company, um, and so we in effect have been been. Reach our capacity is to sell uh, uh, any uh, uh, new water. We um, spent the last year looking and developing a, a couple of new uh, uh, water wells. We've looked at 
pegging an option on two wells near the wells that we have now on Dodge Farm. We drilled one of them, and uh, it's uh, the well is coming in at 200% capacity, what we thought it would come in. So, um, uh, very pleased with that. We are now in the final stages of um, exercising that option. We expect closing by the end of the month. Um, thank you to the select board for the, the, the monies that we needed to make those, those option payments. Um, uh, the, the plan is then in for town meeting of 2020, go to town uh, uh, bond vote for the completion of that water system to get that water system. Um, the, there's a couple of pieces that the, the, the Public Work Board is looking for that project. One of them it, it itself, it's, it, itself is the well and connecting to uh, when we build our pump house up, up there now, we, we left capacity for one more well, so we don't really have to do anything to the internal uh, workings of our pump house. The tank is adequately sized, uh, or size of our lines are, are such that none of that's an issue. It's running the pipes and the pumps to, to, to get it into, the, into that pump house. But the other piece we're, we're looking at <coughs> is the, um, how billing is done for water and sewer you, you have water meters at all of our customers. Um, and, and we take, uh, there, there's no sewer meters, you, so you take a reading, reading off, of, <coughs> off of water, and that's what we bill both water and, and sewer off of. Some of those meters out there are, are, are 30 some years old. Uh, none of them are owned by the town of Berlin. So there are different models, makes. Um, uh, so we're, we're very good likelihood that part of this bond vote uh, next next spring would be to uh, re replace all those meters with smart meters now, where you can actually drive by and get the readings. Uh, it's uh, downloadable. You're not having Diane having to type in all these things now, all these readings. Uh, you could uh, it it tells you uh, when. Uh, a, a meter was offline, so if, if a customer bypasses your meter, you know when that happens now. Uh, you we would know when that happens. Uh, it'll, it, it'll, it'll uh, forewarn you that you know, this 100 gallon a day customer is now 1,000 gallons a day. Something's wrong. So, so you, you know, it, 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 it gets you proactive on the maintenance side of the business as well. So we really think, we really see that as, as a little cost savings for for, for uh, our um, uh, customers and for, for the, uh, the management of the, uh, as well. So um, that bond vote, as I said, will be in town meeting of 2020 with probably a, a likelihood of construction in the spring of 2021. Um, Tom, what is the dollar amount? What is your estimate of the dollar amount of the bond? Uh, because of the, uh, we still haven't got firm estimates on. on I understand. The, it's yeah. somewhere between uh, three hundred and five hundred thousand dollars. How far up cross town are you going? Pardon me. How far up cross town are you going? On the, the sewer. Oh, it's from yeah. um, just the intersection of of Paint Turnpike North up to Bosworth. Okay. Of that bond, how much is the meter change out? We had a real rough estimate about two hundred thousand dollars. Okay, and that's every meter, every customer. It's, it's only the all at once. Or? The, not, it's none of the larger commercial meters. Uh, they are those are all relatively new. So all the two-inch meters are not going and, off. And all the very and they're also very expensive. <coughs> sure. So. But all the the new meters, the the large meters, were installed for the water system. Right. I you could put a module on those to make them wireless mm -hmm. because they're new enough. So with the old meters, I know like one of my properties in Barry had one, so the city gave me a meter, but it was at my expense to install it. Do mm -hmm. you think a lot of people will do that, or how are you going to handle that? I'm just curious. Well, I think the savings that we will incur for not having to go door to door and read meters, mm -hmm. I think we could probably put out a contract to install. That's that's what the thought was, yeah, that we'd install. I would agree. I think it makes sense for the water division or to yeah. own the meter. 
um, for them to put it in. If, if there's a problem like a frozen meter or something, then the customer, of course, would be expected to pay the replacement cost. Yep. Um, how much is a meter? I hate to ask. Uh, the, 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 um, it's about two, $230 mm -hmm. a, a meter. The small ones are half inch to three quarter right. inch. Five eighths. Yeah. Yeah. As this grows and, and as the water and sewer grows, the door to door meter readings, it's going to become a bigger project. And I just think that the fact that we could automate and save that. I think it's a very, I mean, I'm, I shouldn't be saying, but I think it's a very good idea. Mm. Um, usually those smart meters are very handy too if you have a water leak. Mm. Many times you can tell what time of day the water is being used. Um, I would think, I mean, it's yeah. quite, quite handy. It saved you all that in the middle of winter, having someone <coughs> try and crawl over snow banks That's and right. things to get to somebody's meter. When I was reading meters, and the meter would be under the porch or something. And <laughs> I was a lot younger then, but I it's a great way to help <laughs> yeah. households conserve their water too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. again, none of what we do can't be done without you guys. I mean, it's uh, if, if, if if you look at the <coughs> the new town plan, the new zoning. With the, with the new town center is, is the focus of both of those things. Um, I think this, this board is, has embraced that idea and has, has taken the, the, that bull by the horns and trying to get ahead of that, that project. We've already seen a, a 98 unit senior housing project over there. Um, and, and, uh, add, I think great value to the, the grand list. There's, there's some conversations with the 60 unit residential housing project on over there now uh, that, that you folks may be hearing about that very soon. Um, they may even they came in and talked to, I know they talked to you. They, yeah. they came in some yep. time ago, yep. yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. So yeah. The return on your investment's pretty quick mm -hmm. when you look at the uh, growth and the, uh, <coughs> and the grand list. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the water project, Tom, how soon would you think that it, that well needs to go online. It's not right away. I, I, my, my personal, uh, uh, I, I want to construct it in 2021. We, we'll get mm -hmm. a bond vote in 2020. Right, to be in the ready. And, and, and have it online at the end of summer, early fall of 2021. Mm -hmm. if, if a project's approved and there is there is a, a large development that goes in. There is adequate supply in the wells now. We have about fifty percent of, uh, but we we have two. The, the uh, uh, Berlin Health and Rehab is soon to connect. That's about forty units of water. Um, this the, over at the senior project, they wanted. 8,000 gallons a day of water, which is another 35 units of water. So if those two projects come on, we get we get tight. Um, and I've been talking to the hospital. The hospital um, uh, may have some interest in us providing some fire protection for them. If you remember back two or three years ago when the board, this board decided to pursue the fourth well, Yep. And the whole reason was it takes uh, so a significant way. amount of time to pull all these types of um, what you need to do together to be ready for it. And that's where they've been proactive on that. So will this additional well be enough to satisfy the town center development entirely? We, we've we, we've gone off? through... Um, uh, Because in the town center, the hospital is part of the, the town center. They're on, uh, they're on Montpelier water, so that's a good bit of the of, a, of the allocation that, that we would have, if we had to do it on a loan, that we were doing our part. So, from the water side, I, I, I think we're 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 we're, we're decent there. I, I'm, on the sewer side, I know we are because we have two hundred thousand gallons in, uh, a day in our pocket. From an allocation from the city of Montpelier, 
Um, um, it's the water, which will be the, the, the it's, it's more finite than sewer. The interesting part is when you, when you apply for your wastewater permit, the formula that the state makes you use tells you how much water you need. And almost every time it's 50%, the usage is 50% of what you ask for. So we might be sold out on allocation, but we're not using right. half of it. I guess that's the best way to explain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you have plenty of capacity. Correct. Right. We believe we deal with the, the well for it. The new well, what percent of the, uh, or when the new well comes on, how much more will that be for the, for the uh, system to be able to handle? How much more will we be able to sell? Put that way? What, did, what did we have for gallons per minute? The first it was twice as many. Uh, 200, I'm sorry. How many gallons a minute did we get in the first three? Each, each well was, the, the, or was 50 gallons a, a minute. So this one's yeah. twice. Right, so hundreds, between 100 and 150 gallons. So this is two and a half times the last well we drilled is two and a half times better than the first three. Yeah. That's a good way to explain it. So. Yeah. Okay. So you plenty of, you, now you'll have plenty of capacity. And, and with this option agreement, we, we're taking an option on a, on a fifth well as well. Yeah. We can but, only hope we run out. Yeah, right. But <laughs> but, but again, we're, we're I we had a meeting today. We're, we're looking out in the next ten years. Where where are we going? You know. Yeah. Uh, and so you're always in pursuit of of the next one. You have to be. You, you have to be ahead of that curve because it, it takes so long to get it done. Okay. We're going to take and see about or do you, when do you expect to be able to take and see about uh, doing the test well or the doing the boring on the next well. We want to get this this one in line, see what our customer base is, and then go from there. We really haven't got a, a time frame, Brad. Uh, is there another well site up there now still, or is it these pretty much it? We, we have, uh, we're asking for a, an option on a fifth site, yeah. which isn't drilled yet. Yeah. But is there any other sites after that? Uh, there was none that we, on this last round of investigation, that we that we thought would would you know make yeah. sense, uh, because now you're getting further away from your pump house. Once you do that, then you have to build new infrastructure and and, yeah. and, and all that. Mm -hmm. and that was a big plus with this well. Yeah, that it was close to where the pump house was. Yeah, but if, if the if we go to capacity, it'll be, make more sense. Even if you have to take put the infrastructure in. You have to, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There'll be no choice. Yeah. But a, a, a good way of looking at it is this well that we currently drill, and if the fifth well ended up being the same as the first three, if we've doubled what we currently have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of water. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in zoning, are you seeing any great increase in uh, applications or? A slow year from zoning, to be honest with you. Um, everybody, I talked to the, uh, the city of Barry, it's the city of Montpelier. Everybody's having a, a, a slow year. There's there's rumors of big projects. I've seen big projects. Uh, Tom Luzon was in here for a yeah. very decent project that's coming to the DRB here next week. Um, uh, this 99, 98 unit senior housing is now just started the Rack 250. Um, so they they want to start construction spring of next year, um, so that that'll be a big, big project. Uh, there's the hospital is talking about a, an expansion down at the hospital too, but we haven't seen any, yeah. any applications. Anything else? I would um, going back to the sewer agreement um, with or with the board's agreement with the Chamber of Commerce agreeing to reimburse the chamber. Um, up to two thousand dollars for any expenses that might arise. I'm looking for a motion for the board for that. Make a motion to uh, reimburse the Chamber of Commerce uh, for out of pocket expenses associated with the easement, uh, not to exceed two thousand dollars. And to sign the agreement. That you're yeah. I second the motion. Any further discussion? Those in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. And you're, uh, uh, we talked about a resolution. We 
naming you to be able to sign the U.S. I'm going to, that's what that we're talking okay. about. We'll be going there next. Okay. But thank you for reminding me because. <laughs> Do you need us for that? Or? Um, I, I would ask if you would stay okay. because um, usually when I ask the board for $2 million, they balk. <laughs> Two million dollars? Yeah. <laughs> it's two million dollars between friends. You're putting a, a lift station on this uh, piece of property at the chamber, or no? We are. It, yeah. will, it, it, will, it will then um, replace the 30 plus year old station. Uh, behind Shaw's, and so that will, oh. that will go away, and it will it eliminate about four thousand feet of force main that is through some very inaccessible mm -hmm. sections of town, yeah. and and it takes it into about five hundred feet of force main, uh, and in which dumps into a manhole on a town highway right of way. So mm -hmm. all around. It's much, a good idea. Much yeah. easier, much, yeah. Force main so the woods are not fun. No. Through a wetland and it's... When they break. <laughs> and of questionable quality right now. <laughs> <laughs> the other um, issue is the USDA bond. This is for the sewer project. Um, as Tom mentioned, the town voted $2,200,000. And we just got information from USDA that they would like to be able to um, close this loan yes. within the next week. So they didn't really give us much time to do this. It's a 30-year loan. Um, it's a 2.75%. Um, they need someone to be appointed as authorized to sign from the town and in their email it says will that signer be available from this Friday through next week to sign on short notice if not is there a board contingency that someone else could be authorized to sign with a corporate resolution um, I asked the Public Works Board to stay so they could explain I think it's obvious what they need two million two hundred thousand for but if you had questions they would know I wouldn't um, so if you had any questions. This is for the paint turnpike north. Right. The sewer project. Right. Yep. So the question is, can we, can we make Dana the authorized signer yeah. so that we can close the loan before the next meeting if USDA pulls the trigger? Yep. Make a motion to make Dana the authorized signer for the uh, USDA bond. Not to exceed two point two. exceed two point two million thirty year and only two point seven five percent. You have a second? I second the motion. Thank Any you. further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Anything else? Motion carries. Yeah, you're powerful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for all of your legwork and coming and Thank explaining you for everything your, to us. You're trusting us. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. So I'm, I'm still here. Good. Taxpayer, Berlin taxpayer. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> um, you might want to um, um, I mean, I mean, do the best out letter. I think that was probably what we talked about. Hold on. Did, was it before I got here? No, we no. haven't we haven't discussed that yet. Well, there's a public hearing at oh. the next soft board meeting, but it's not. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. Okay, so um, you don't need me here. <laughs> well, we might want to stay for a minute. You might want to stay for a minute. Because yeah, we are going to touch on it. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, <laughs> let's take and uh, skip to the letter from the doubts. Um, this, we did receive a letter, and I think you have gotten copies of the letter um, that were written by Mr. and Mrs. Doubt um, regarding their views and thoughts on the um, benefit or non-benefit of changing the class four section of Black Road to class a class three section, which is actually from Crosstown Road to just past the Walker driveway. I'm not talking about going all the way to Emerson's, just that mm -hmm. amount. Um, we have scheduled a public hearing on September 5th for this. Um, 
I would suggest to the board that they take this letter under advisement as a testimony from the doubts for um, the September 5th meeting. Mm -hmm. And I did respond to their letter that evening just so that everyone is aware and I forwarded that to Dana, right. just basically outlining that we would have the discussion tonight regarding their letter right. and uh, how we move forward. So I think I Dana think I has just represented wanted, yeah, it very yeah. well. Yeah. I think I just wanted you to know the letter is here. Um, mm -hmm. They've commented. And yep. Yep. So we'll have that. And I think that's good for the town, too. I mean, that's, it's really good for us to get on our roads and have inventory. And we have sent, um, there has been a public notice in the paper. I mailed out to interested property owners. I think you should have gotten mm -hmm. one of those um, that it was going to be September 5th. I don't. I don't think I've received that the new one. But uh, if you uh, haven't, I'll send you a copy. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Good. Oh, very good. Good. <laughs> yep. Um, Thank I, you, Bruce. I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> and the tech bear of Berlin. Yeah. Have a wonderful yeah. evening. Same here. We're here. Yeah. 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 Nice to meet you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Tell my dad you want your, your Camaro back. <laughs> yeah. He has his license back. Right? <laughs> he just got it last week. Done the easement deed, yeah. USDA funding. Um, Would you like to do the letter from, from Mr. Hogg? From Peter Hogg. Yeah. Um, Peter Hogg wrote us a letter, and um, normally you would have seen what he wants, but I just wanted you to be aware it came in. He's concerned about the speed limit on Brookfield Road. This is the, you'd like to see the entire length of Brookfield Road be reduced from 35 to 25. Or he's got or even 15 I'm not sure if we can go that low however um, I have spoken to the police about it and I've also spoken to regional planning about doing a traffic study that's normally how we do yep. that but I wanted you to be aware that that's here so we have gone through your list of changes right, I have one more but goals can be the last one Brad um, it's confusing maybe the select board minutes would be yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see here. Approval select board minutes from uh, 7 18 2019. I make the motion that we approve the select board minutes of July 18, 2019, as presented. I'll second the motion. Any further discussion? Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Town administrator's report, Nina. Yes, um, I really don't have very much other than we discussed earlier that the date has been set for the town fair for the league, October 2nd. There will be more coming along um, with that. Um, I did receive an email from Paul Luciano. Paul, if you, as you remember, is the consultant we're working with for the update of the local hazard mitigation program. Um, he is just reporting on what he's done since then. He's um, been talking with Weston Mobile Home Park and their mitigation plans and suggestions for the ditching on Route 12 to further protect the park. Um, he is asking if the town has an opinion on this idea. Um, I would think that would be a good idea. Um, unless you disagree with me. I mean, I mean, um, he has, um, he's trying to talk with, he's waiting to talk with V-Trans reps about the status of Dog River plan projects. Um, he is going to be reviewing those with V-Trans. And he has gotten, Tom has provided him with information regarding our National Flood Insurance Program and our um, CRS involvement and current policy and procedure. And that was just an update from Paul. Okay. That's it. That's it on there. Yes, thank you. Uh, round table, Justin. Uh, if we could do the goals oh, first, right. yeah, goals. I left that. Yeah. Um, many times in places that have been, um, boards have 
taken some time to come up with goals they might have in mind for. Um, we've got quite a few projects going on right now. Um, and they can be small goals or um, large goals. I am thinking that a meeting with the board and department heads and myself would be very helpful. Um, again, I think it's good for us to get together with department heads, see what their department needs and what goals they have. And these not necessarily have a dollar amount attached to them. Um, we've got, Justin and I have discussed, we've got a lot of, or it would be very beneficial to us to update our road records and have easier access to many questions that we get. Um, and it's just over time, we have a, we've inherited these roads by prescription and there's a lot of information and we'd like to kind of put that together. I think that's one project. Um, so I guess I'm bringing it up so the board can kind of think what might be helpful. Right, Dana and I have talked and, you know, for me, being new to the board, whatever, coming in, look at it, we don't have a complete road inventory that we can, you know, like, we, like we're, when we were reviewing, I believe in our last meeting, we, you know, yeah. all the road's not on the map. So I think it would be good to research that and maybe just, I don't even know how we'd go about it, but, you know, how we're meeting to discuss something like that. It's a perfect time to do it because we are working on this general municipal road permit through the state. Now that's a long-term project um, that has to be completed by 2036. Um, I hope I'm still around, but at any <laughs> rate, um, so that, I mean, the information that we're gathering for that would be very helpful, I think, to put in it. But I think it, this is a, it's one, a project that would be a good one for the town to and, undertake. And really wrapping you know, for me, like wrapping head around my head around where the town center is at, how that's all going to come into play, and, and if that is a goal of the board to help increase the tax base, how do we support that? And it's helpful for me, if the, you know, for the board's input, because when you're doing the day-to-day -day operation and putting out the day-to-day -day fires, I think sometimes you can miss the big picture. Surely there must be something you want. You must have a goal. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> okay. Um, anything else on that, Dana? No. So basically, what, you, what, yeah. what we need to do is just start getting a list together of uh, yeah. things we, we... And maybe we could um, get a meeting with um, a few more people coming to the table yeah. to talk with you about. Well, I remember when I was on the school board that we had a, like a retreat. I don't know if you can still do that for goal planning, and I don't know if that works with a select board or how that works. So I mean, we, yeah, I did research that. Um, obviously, every meeting has to be so public. Yep. Has to be public. And you're also supposed to be able to allow anyone who attends input. Yep. Um, and that might be helpful. Um, and But Absolutely. sometimes it might be helpful to have a retreat someplace other than here. Well, I was thinking um, if we got some of the boards together like we did at the last meeting we had at the Grange, mm -hmm. that might be a good time to just actually come up with ideas and have input and yep. congeal, a, congeal the boards a little bit more. Mm -hmm. so, we talk, yeah. so maybe we'll schedule something um, in the fall, late fall maybe might be a good time. Well, it was before we start doing budget. No, that wouldn't be a good time, would it? No. Well, we'll think about it. I'm just trying to think. Um, if we're, it'd hmm. be helpful before budget time because, yeah. um, mm -hmm. then, I mean, you could do one before and do one um, at the first of the year or mm -hmm. in between the holidays. Well, I'm just thinking if we came up with any um, immediate goals that may need some financing yeah. if you have, have the yeah. budget issue. Anything else, David? Uh, no. Uh, okay. So, round table, Justin? Nothing. Twelve? Uh, any executive session? No. Okay. 
Motion to adjourn. So, so moved. I second the motion to adjourn. All in favor?